This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so Nick Webb versus Dave Allen in a very, very interesting heavyweight clash. Um, only went four rounds, so everybody who was predicting a knockout that it wasn't going to go the distance, absolutely correct. Now, it only went four rounds, but for the first three rounds, it was certainly all Nick Webb. Um, he hit Dave Allen with some massive, massive shots, and Dave Allen just kept coming forward, almost like it just wasn't phasing him. Um, round four, he really started to come alive. The, of course, this is Dave Allen, and was catching him with some pretty decent hooks, good body shots, and he caught him with a massive, massive hook. And Nick Webb went down, tried to get back up again, and just couldn't. And it was, it was initially like a body shot originally. So Dave, he hits him with a, like a left hook body shot. Nick Webb's arms come down, and the big overhand right comes over and hits Nick Webb flush, and his legs are just gone. Um, massive massive punch now i was very nervous for both guys in this fight um, because i like both of them both of them are you know good friends of the channel so it's always nerve-wracking for both guys but this was one hell of a punch for dave allen and dave allen you know this proves that he can do it if he just really focuses and sometimes it's it's like a little bit frustrating that he doesn't do this in all his fights, but ultimately the first three rounds he was just taking up shots and he shouldn't be taking shots and he's not going to have a very long career if he keeps on taking up all these shots, as we've said before, but either way, he's got one hell of a right hand himself and he needs to throw it a hell of a lot more rather than just try and tire out his opponent, which I think that was pretty much his game plan. I don't think he expected to stop Nick Webb at this point. He was a 10 rounder. I think yeah, that maybe he was looking to do it. Like, I don't know, maybe round seven, round eight kind of time. Maybe Nick was going to be a little bit tired. Now, Nick Webb is pretty inactive, but ultimately, Dave Allen, this was a fight of very, very short notice as he hadn't long for Tony Yoka. So, Dave Allen has an opportunity now to go for the British heavyweight title against potentially Joe Joyce if Huey Fury was to vacate it. So we'll have to really wait and see what happens. Is he going to retire? Is he not? Either way. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with his post-fight interview, see what it is that he says about his future, all that kind of thing. Uh, commiserations to Nick Webb. He was doing very, very well, and you know any lesser guys would not have been able to take some of those punches that Nick Webb threw. But Dave Allen is rock solid. So anyway, congratulations to the white rhino, Dave Allen. Everyone else, what did you think of the fight? Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.